Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Android's operating system on your iPhone 3G or your first generation iPhone. So to do this, you're going to need to download something, and it's iPhodroid. So if you guys remember, uh, about a month or so, I made a video on how to do this. And that was for, I believe, 3.1.2. Well, now this is compatible with 4.0. So it's going to be a huge step forward in the iPhodroid development. So just come to this website. I will have a link in the more info. And as of now, this is Mac only. I'll make another video if a PC version is released. So to download it, just scroll down and come right here where it says download 0.6 beta R11 and just click it and it'll start downloading. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it. Once it has finished downloading, all you have to do is just double click on it to open it and then just pick your device. I have an iPhone 3G. I'm gonna click Next and then I want to install it. You can pick Uninstall if you want to uninstall it. And then just enter your computer's password. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna hit Next. And then enter your iPhone's IP address you're also going to have to have SSH on your iPhone. If you don't have SSH, just go into Cydia and type in Open SSH, and then just install and confirm that. And then you're going to need to enable it. Uh, it's automatically enabled by default, but if you turned it off in SB settings, you're going to have to re-enable it. And all you're going to have to do basically after that is just figure out your IP address. It tells you how to do it here. And you just, like I said, want to make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and your SSH is enabled and then just put in your uh, iPhone's IP address right here and then hit next and then put in your SSH password by default it is Alpine A-L-P-I-N-E and then just hit next so if you're not on iOS 4 you're gonna click no I'm not iOS 4 if you just want to cancel you can click cancel if you are on iOS 4 you're gonna have to click yes do partition disk basically this just makes a small partition on your hard drive so to speak and uh, that's basically just like partitioning your normal hard drive on a computer so uh, they said in the next release of this it'll be fixed so it won't create a partition for iOS 4 devices but I'm just gonna click yes do partition disk because I'm already on that I will also make another video when a new update is released that makes it so you don't have to do the partition so basically it's just gonna go through nine steps and it's relatively quick you don't have to do anything all you have to do is just sit there basically or not even sit there you could just walk away and come back so I'm just gonna pause this video here and I will come back when something noteworthy pops up okay guys so now it finished installing all those things and now it's asking if I have Open iBoot installed. So if you don't have it installed, click No and I want to install it. If you do have it installed, which I doubt you would have it installed if you're going through all this trouble, then you click Yes, I do. But uh, I don't have it installed, so I'm going to click No. Then I'm going to go to Next. And then do I want to make a backup of Nord? Just say No. It doesn't really matter. It's stupid anyway. And now it's asking if I'm sure I want to install. And I'm going to say, yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to install. So now it's saying to put my device into scroll mode. To do this, just hold down the home and the power button as if you were going to go into recovery mode. And just keep holding even after your device powers off. And then even after it looks like it's starting to power back on, just continue holding. And also start to hold even after it goes into recovery mode. And then let go when uh, you start to see text that looks like it's scrolling. Okay, so I just got the scrolling text and I'm good to go. So I'm just going to click OK to exit out of this stupid iTunes thing. And now it's installing everything and this is a direct mirror of what is happening on my iPhone. So I'm just going to pause this and come back when it is completely finished. So now it's finished and it just brought me to open iBoot on my iPhone and to switch between iDroid, iPhone OS, or console, just use the phone. Okay, so now it has successfully finished button. installing. And to so basically to unlock it, just button. home button so and you're good to go. And, I will and you have basically a working version of Android, Android operating, operating system, system on your iPhone. So yeah, when you boot it up, it'll have to go through like a scrolling text mode type thing and then it'll start to go into the Android boot screen 
and basically you can do everything that you'd normally be able to do. However, this is a, an older version of Android and it's basically like it's running in debug mode. So some of the buttons have been repurposed, like for example the power button acts as the home button and the home button acts as basically like the function button. So yeah guys, you can still do some stuff with this. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and I hope you guys subscribe. This is ICU, signing out.